Did he see that bounce off $2,000 today? Well, it tells us something. It tells us that maybe we have a new normal for the price of gold, and that new normal, it's gonna cost us. I was making a video on Tuesday and the price of gold jumped up as I was recording. It went from the 1980s to the 2020s. We had some news in there, we knew it was coming, but it really wasn't clear why we saw such a big jump and why it held. The mud was swirling, nothing was clear. We had jobs numbers, we had OPEC plus production cut news that had come out a few days before that. And right about that time, some news was floating up from Jamie Dimon saying that banks were still at risk. Now, some of this would have directly affected the price of gold. Some of it would have been indirect at best, and none of those clips on their own should have really spurred a big movement like that. Trading really seemed impulsive at the time. Now, looking back, people are gonna say it was the jobs numbers because those numbers would be throwing some warning signals for an actual recession, but we've had warning signals for a recession for a while now, at least a year. And if there is a clear picture, it's probably just that it wasn't any one single thing. Now, all of this matters, but at the same time, none of it does. Now, you heard me say something about an actual recession. Maybe you're thinking to yourself that we're already in one, but we're not. People believe official labels. The moment that it's declared that we're in a recession, that's when we see the change. People will change the way they spend. Right now, the U.S. is being told we're not there yet. But we should be, and that should push the price of gold to $2,000 on its own. Inflation is another. Any of the efforts to combat inflation, like increasing interest rates, those have inflated yields on treasury products. And as we've mentioned before, that's a competing product. It's a competing product of gold, so that is a headwind. But that doesn't change the fact that we're seeing historic inflation, and that inflation in any other normal situation would also be pushing the price of gold above $2,000. Now, I saw one outlet say there's no reason to try to fight the fact that gold is in a bullish market. And I think it's a really good way of putting it. Gold could pull back. Again, it's actually doing that right now as I'm recording this. But higher prices are actually the trend right now. And that's a little bit strange to say, considering just three weeks ago, the price of gold was 1840 and it was trending down. Now, according to the charts, the current floor for gold price is 1898. And that's the support line. The next number to watch for is 2070 or 2075 right in there. That's the all-time high for gold. If gold closes above that level, well, $2,300 is no longer a pie in the sky. That's the inflation-adjusted all-time high from 2011, by the way. That number isn't just made up. Now, these numbers are a mix of psychological barriers and moving average bands on charts. Nothing says gold has to stay inside those lines. Really, my point here is just to say that we're no longer expecting gold to be in the 1700s. We're expecting it to be in the 2000s. So a drop to 1900 is a dip. And I mentioned my 10%, 15% triggers where I'm going to buy more aggressively. Well, those new price points would be 1800 and 1700 And with everything currently in play, trend being what it is, I'm not holding my breath. As for buying plans, I'm still not ready to grab more yet, but if I was not already ahead of my running goal, might not be too worried about it. It has been only three weeks. I have more patience than that. I'd still be waiting a bit personally, but at some point, you have to realize that gold can jump on complete surprises. Nobody knew Silicon Valley Bank was going to collapse inside of 48 hours. Last year, it was Russia invading Ukraine. Now, I've waited both price runs out. But it's hard to say the price is going to fall again this year like they did last. There's just more going on economically, and it's all piling up. Nothing is actually resolved yet. Now, yesterday, the Bank of America updated their outlook for gold, saying they expect $2,100 in Q2. Now, others are talking about $2,300 by the end of the year again. Everybody seems very bullish. So what could change that? If you're hoping for lower prices, you have to ask that question. You could look at... I don't know, maybe the Fed catching some luck with inflation, not pushing us into that recession. You could look at the global economy weakening against the U.S. economy. Sorry for my non-U.S. viewers. But that would mean a stronger dollar. That would mean weaker gold for the reasons that I've mentioned before, more competition from treasury products, and then less demand because of that higher exchange cost. 
So this isn't meant to be analysis. Hopefully I'll jinx it. It'll go back down to 1950. It's just taking all the things going on, blending them up, and then seeing how they taste. And it's pretty clear we have a new normal for short-term gold expectations. I mean, if it falls below $2,000, what that is is a dip. And if it pushes on to new all-time highs above that 2075, shouldn't really be a surprise. And this coin, by the way, that I haven't been able to get into focus is a 2009 Ultra High Relief Double Eagle from the US Mint. That question comes up a lot. They are always expensive. There's not a whole lot you can do about that, but they aren't always based around the spot price of gold. I was able to get this one when spot was high, but the asking price hadn't changed. I think I got it for $22.50 at the time, which really isn't that far from where these buffaloes are right now. Now back to the point. I think that it's time to adjust expectations for gold price. We've seen analysts and multiple large banks now pointing to higher prices. We know that gold price ebbs and flows, but the trend line is up. It's up and to the right, that's pretty clear. Now, I'm getting less hopeful about price cooling off, and if we see a solid month of higher prices, well, I guess my baseline is gonna have to change to match whatever's going on. Now, again, I'm no analyst. I'm not trying to play one on TV. I'm just bringing this up because I've been saying that I'm not buying because the prices feel high. The market just seems bipolar these days, even if and when I get used to $2,000 gold. Well, I'm not gonna completely throw out the idea that it might retrace to $1,800 because that's what's been going on. Things have been crazy. It's been really difficult to follow the logic, not just in gold price, but in the world in general. And maybe now that we're starting to be convinced of the normalcy of that $2,000 gold, it's going to drop just to keep us on guard. I mean, I would take it if it did, but let us know what you think. Are we going to see all-time highs soon, 2100 2300 by the end of the year? Let us know. And then while you're in the comments, be sure to hit that like button if you found any of this interesting, be sure you're subscribed with notifications turned on if you'd like to see more on the topic. And if you're still here, thanks again for watching. I always appreciate your time. Take care.